I recently did something that I never thought that I'd do. Get rid of all of my stuff. Well, not all of my things. Let me tell you about it. Okay, so it's uh, Monday morning and uh, just woken up. <clears throat> and to be honest with you, I've been procrastinating over this and honestly, I've just been putting it off for a number of weeks, but I really can't, I can't put it off anymore now. Let's become a minimalist. We grow up in a world where all we're taught is more is good. It starts when we're young and it grows as we grow. More toys, more returns, more clothes, more cars, friends, and more chuddies if you're a bit like Boris. My first memory was being told, study hard, pass your exams, do a good degree, get a good job, earn lots of money, so you can have all of the things that you want. But there's no limit to how much we want. But when is enough, enough? Have you ever walked into a room in your house or your office and looked around and just had that sense of suffocation, the feeling of stress, feeling anxious, just the feeling of the weight on your shoulders, on your chest? Yeah, I have too. I read a study that was done in America where they found that people living in a cluttered environment had a higher level of the stress hormone cortisol. Now, it's at that point that I sort of looked around the studio and I thought to myself, you know what? I have gotta become a minimalist, I have gotta declutter. I also need to declutter basically a lot of other things in my life. For example, you know, people, uh, clients. Now, I was taking on a lot of projects over the last year, which frankly speaking, just did not fill me with joy. And that I felt was really, really unfair on a number of my clients that I was working with because I wasn't able to put the same amount of passion into a project, which it deserves. And every project that I do needs that attention, needs that passion to get the best out of it. So it was a case of, you know what? Not only am I gonna declutter things, but I'm also gonna declutter people and the business. So the question is, what is minimalism? So on the surface, minimalism is all about owning less possessions, owning less stuff, but honestly, there is so much more to it. Minimalism is about having things in your life that truly bring you joy. Things that have a practical purpose in your life. Simply put, it's not just about decluttering, it's about de-owning things. It's about a mindset. It's about following your own journey for happiness and not following the crowd. So it took me a long, long time to actually pluck up the courage to actually do something about decluttering and getting rid of everything uh, that I haven't used in like the last year, maybe even six months. And for somebody who really enjoys you know, things. It was one of the most difficult things that I've ever had to do. And it's not the fact that, you know, I'm attached to these things too much, but it was more the thought of, what if I need it? If I need it and I don't have it, what am I gonna do then? But then I had to think to myself, well, if I haven't used something in the last six months or even a year, am I really ever gonna use it again? To start this project off by myself, to take everything out, declutter, it was, uh, really, it was actually giving me like a lot of anxiety because I love all this stuff. The way that all of um, this clutter came about is when I started on this crazy journey of becoming a videographer, I developed a condition. I developed gas, really, really bad gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. Basically, every piece of tech out there, I thought, you know what, I need it. It's gonna make me a better videographer, a better cinematographer. But the reality of the matter is, as a creative, all you need is this, this, and the basic equipment to tell the best stories. And it's taken me two years to get to that point. We've got so much crap in the office, especially in terms of equipment. Literally, the entire side room here yeah, was full of it. So I had to enlist the help of a few friends to really get me going and to help me with it, and uh, also to do some of the heavy lifting because maybe I'm a bit lazy. So let's start right at the beginning. How did I get started? All of this, that's obviously rubbish, but that's a rubbish pile there. But all of this, okay, all of this is from the shelf, the shelves. I mean, it's crazy. This is the amount of equipment that we have accumulated over only two years. 
Why? You know, and this is the same thing that we do in our lives with everything, right? We just accumulate. Now, I've already made a start here, uh, sort of organizing everything. And to be fair, I don't know how, I'm going to, how to do this because it's the first time I'm ever doing it. So I thought to myself, what is going to be the best way to actually sort this out? So I've started creating little piles of things, you know, like we've got all the tools stuff there, you know, the prayer mats, you know, stuff to do with lighting everything to do with cameras stuff like that you know this i'm sorting out right now um and yeah just generally just making piles and the hardest thing is you know deciding what to keep and that there took me ages to do and that was the first one that i've done why purely because every time i picked up anything i was like yeah i could use this but then i have to remind myself well no this is why we've ended up with so much equipment because you think to yourself that you need something you know you form an attachment with it so it was a case of have i used it in the last six months have i used it in the last year no get rid of it throw it away or sell it we have maybe again doing some work what do you reckon mason is about a quarter of the way through yeah it's getting done it's getting done might take a bit longer than i anticipated but we're close and that's all that matters. So the one thing that I've realized about becoming a minimalist, especially in the first stages, is not to actually put too much upon yourself because it's traumatic enough, right? <laughs> that you're having to get rid of pretty much everything. What I would definitely suggest to anyone, and this is again from my personal experience, I don't think that there is any right or wrong answer. You all have to sort of follow your own path and sort of decide yourselves how to go about it. What I would personally do is put everything out and uh, just sort of have three piles, what you're keeping, what you're selling and what you're going to throw away and do it in stages. I mean, I know for a fact with, with myself that I've still got so much more stuff that I can actually get rid of. But by doing it in stages, I'm, I'm feeling more motivated to get rid of more stuff. Whereas I know that if I would have done it straight away, I would have been sitting here thinking, oh my God, I'm not enjoying this. And that's the whole thing. You got to enjoy the process of becoming a minimalist. So if you do it in stages, bit by bit, you know, it, not only are you able to accept it a lot easier, but you enjoy it. And that is the main thing. The funny thing is that by owning less things, I feel that I've got closer to that big man up there. And it's weird because, you know, not only am I appreciating the stuff that I have now, I'm appreciating people a lot more, I'm appreciating things, situations, and I'm appreciating the blessings that my big dude has basically blessed upon me. So that got me thinking, what does Islam say about minimalism? As we all know, Islam is a holistic way of life in the sense that it provides us with general guiding principles on how to go about our lives. And this is not peculiar to one particular phase of life. It cut across from birth to death. Whatever we do, Islam has something to say. Minimalism is not any exceptional. No doubt, Islam has something to say about it. And we have traces of discussions within the religion of Islam when it comes to minimalism. Because really, this is something that ought to be discussed. Because sometimes people will come forward and ask questions. Can I be minimalist or not? Of course, when we talk of minimalism, it is really to try as much as we can to reclaim our precious times. Because you see, we often don't realize how we chase behind more. And doing so, what it does, it takes our valuable or precious times. And this in return makes us less productive and less creative. Our beloved Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi wa alihi wa sallam, beautifully mentioned, Man radiya bil qalili istaghna. Whoever is pleased with the little, that person is rich in the sight of Almighty Allah, Tabaraka wa ta'ala. So when you talk of minimalism, it's really for one to strive in his or her own small way to create more and live with less. Because if you do not live with less and you run behind more and more and more and more, by the time you realize, you will be consumed by more and nothing achieved in return. 
do I need to say any more? You heard it from the Sheikh himself that Islam promotes minimalism. Sheikh Nuru, thank you so much. I uh, seriously appreciate your time. And if you guys want to hear the entire conversation that Sheikh Nuru and I had about minimalism, then I'll link the entire video just up here. So make sure you guys go and watch that video straight after this one because trust me, you are gonna get some amazing gold nuggets out of that. So how have the last three months been for me? Well, dude, to be honest with you, it's been absolutely amazing. The amount of freedom that I felt, the less amount of stress that I've had to deal with, it's been, I really cannot explain it. It's something that you have to do to really realize it yourself. I just kind of wish that I would have done it sooner. What I've gained from minimalism so far is a sense of organization, a sense of relief, you know, and it's also enabled me to appreciate the little things, the small things, you know, and that has brought a lot of joy into my life. This is only the first step in my minimalism journey. And I know that there is a long, long way to go. And I just hope that the steps to come are as, well, as rewarding really as the first step. Now, I do know that another round of decluttering is required. It's something that I definitely advise everyone to do. You don't need to take it like, you know, so seriously that you live and die by it, but at least take the first step and see how you feel. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've been able to pick up something from here. And if you haven't already, then why don't you watch this video here about what this channel is gonna to bring to you in 2022.